Anish, congratulations. You just beat uh, Gokash after a long fight. Um, before we go into the game, you're very expressive at the board today. Um, there were this, when, Rook, when he took on d3, you're kind of putting your head on the table. A lot was going on. What was happening there? Oh, you mean in the opening when he took? Yeah, yeah I was very surprised. I um, Two moves before that, uh, when I played this before. I mean, I was um, didn't think much was happening. Um, I even thought maybe he can play b5. <laughs> I, I thought it was playable, but I, I didn't have too high uh, hopes. I mean, not, not certainly not something I got in the game. So I thought the uh, position is, you know, it's very, very, very defensible for black, and like it's. Um, even the worst case scenario is going to be very drawish. So, I mean, I, I, I thought uh, Black is very, very solid. And uh, what he did, uh, uh, you know, enters a position that is just so, so unpleasant. I think he blundered bishop takes c6, probably, at least. Uh, even though, anyway, the um, optics of this uh, are very, very uh, dangerous. I mean, you don't want to give up light square bishop and the bishop on, f on f6. Like, it's very, very dangerous stuff. Even sometimes, maybe, uh, without bishop takes c6. But in any case, I was really thrilled to get that. And, uh, I thought after bishop to six, his idea was to go e4, takes and rook a1. And uh, without the uh, rooks, uh, if he gets h5, g6, it should be a um, complete draw. I think I would try to stop that. Probably I can manage to stop it. Maybe I can play like queen d5 there or something like that. And then, actually, I remember now somebody won this position. Uh, suddenly it occurred to me when white gets pawn to h5 and f4 and some custom jump or something. I don't know. Suddenly, yeah. Uh, uh, it's actually maybe promising for me anyway. Yeah, no, I think he just he gave me a very very juicy position. Um, maybe he f thought it was unpleasant before that. Uh, maybe it was, but I thought uh, uh, like you know black should prevent b5. Of course, not uh, allow such one sided thing. And uh, in, a, in a way, it's possible because my knight is a bit shaky on a4 and d3 pawn is soft. So uh, yeah, I thought it was not um, no no reason to to panic. And then this long end game uh, ensued. How did you feel? Did you feel you were in control the whole time, or did you ever see any ghosts of a fortress rearing its ugly head? Well, control was definitely there. Uh, that's for sure. But um, yeah, I was. Uh, I felt my position is improving all the time. Uh, I was surprised he went for this end game because I thought after um, I gave a check on b8, he went through d8, and then we got it. I thought he was planning to walk h7. Frankly, I saw many tempting options, and maybe winning. Uh, I mean, should be winning, but I thought it was a little harder for me there than uh, this end game. This end game, to be honest, um, it looked really bad. But then I, so I realized that um, you know after I make like after I achieve everything, that maybe it's still a fortress in the end. Uh, it shouldn't be, of course, because um, I think uh, at some point I realized that my plan uh, should be bringing the king across uh, to the e-pawn, and I can always threaten a sacrifice on g7. Um, and I also should not panic, uh, and uh, it's okay for me to play a move like f3. Because at first I thought I should keep my pawns on e3, f2, uh, but then I realized that the okay, f3 doesn't ruin anything. And I think when I got this king f3, king e4, it was good to, to get that in there, because uh, otherwise it might be hard. If I try to do it more conceptually, like bring the king, you know, to e2, then he will go rook d6. So I think um, I kind of managed to do it in a concrete way, and I think it was good because um, could could have gotten quite hard. And yeah, then I probably he's lost because always the rook takes g7 is there, and yeah, shouldn't be. I mean, I've achieved so much um, uh, that at this point it would be kind of unfair <laughs> if it was uh, if uh, if it was uh, going to be a, a fortress. But you know, sometimes things are unfair, and anyway, so. After all that hard work, you are going to the first uh, rest day as the sole leader. Uh, I imagine you're pretty satisfied with how things are going so far. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point um, because uh, you have a certain score. Like um, I have three wins right now, and um, you know the others they won't be standing still. So you are sort of uh, in the lead, but not even in such a lead that, let's say, your draws will need the tournament, you know? So it's, 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 it's uh, just a good start. Uh, not to say that uh, there are nine, I think, nine uh, games ahead and uh, so many things gonna happen. Uh, but of course, I'm happy, yeah, especially today. I was a very strong opponent and, um, yeah, I didn't really expect that. Um, so after the opening, I mean, mm -hmm. I was kind of happy to get what I, get, what I got because we have some playable position, but 
I didn't really uh, think that, you know, such chances are going to come, but they did. In a previous interview, you mentioned this year you're going to focus on online blitz. Will you show your dedication and play the late title Tuesday? Uh, that's a good question. I'm a bit late for the early title Tuesday. Uh, I was thinking about uh, starting the late title Tuesday because it starts uh, before my bedtime. But uh, it doesn't end before my bedtime. That's the problem. So, yeah, I was considering to play like one game and withdraw maybe even stream a game or something. But yeah, Ali Reza streamed the uh, early title Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, no, Alireza is showing the way. I mean, Alireza is my big uh, hero. I'm going, to, I've learned a lot from him in general. So I, I'm going to do all the stuff that he's doing too. Uh, what have you learned from him? Um, well, that you should uh, stream, that you should, um, you know, play, play Blitz, uh, that, uh, you know, when you have to farm, you should farm. Um, I think all of that in due time will happen uh, as well uh, on my end. But, uh, you know, it takes time for me to understand uh, Alireza's wisdom. And uh, likewise, with the title Tuesday too, I think maybe in a couple of years I'll get to the point that I stream during my Kanzei, but uh, right now I'm not really able. And, you know, when I uh, stream title Tuesday, I want to do it um, uh, in a dedicated manner. I want to give it my all. I want to be in a fully rested uh, at my best setup. And now, in the middle of my Kanzei, when I'm a bit tired, I don't want to come to the stream and uh, don't give the people the... The, m the myself that they deserve. Absolutely, that makes sense. You're talking about being fully rested. Uh, tomorrow's a rest day. What will you be doing? That's um, definitely good. I had to, uh, of the four games, two were long. So that's that's probably good to get a rest day. Uh, you know, the usual here, com combined rest and preparation. Always a lot to prepare for. Uh, you see, like, some players, um, they're, you know, they're preparing so hard. Mm -hmm. um, they're blitzing out some long, long lines, and they must be memorizing so much because they blitz out lines against the E4, against D4, against C4, and you wonder what else they uh, memorized, you know? So it's very, very difficult here. You have to prepare as well, so I'll do that too. Well, uh, enjoy the rest day, and congrats again on the win today. Thank you.